these past weeks, and then Professor Osiki, uh, who also passed on this uh, immediate past week. Uh, please, uh, we'll give you further information about the barrier arrangement. Praise the Lord. Upcoming event, pro and cons of ICT part two comes up next month, Saturday, the 13th, inside the worship hall. That will be after our fasting and prayer meeting because they are inviting somebody from outside. So 3.30 p.m. Please pray, plan ahead, prepare to attend and be punctual. Africa Congress on Subjective ACD comes up in May 6th, 10th, 2019 at the Redemption Camp. The session is $200. It cover your feeding accommodation. We ask to meet at the airport for registration and other information. Please, um, we want to appeal to us that the contribution towards our daddy's uh, barrier program is on. It can be made through any of these channels. Either you give to any of your elders or put it in an ovary bag, well labeled as PGP barrier, or you pay to Zenith Bank, account number is written there, and then account name is Glory Tabernacle Ministry. Only, don't put any other thing there. It's a, a special account. So, may you be blessed as you honor our beloved pastor by this generous gift in the name of Jesus Christ. There is nothing we give for this barrier that will be too much. We are here today because we have transformed people. And it took just a life who responded and then put us together. And this is the time. There is nothing we will do for this barrier that will be too much. And the Lord will be glorified for that week in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. The church project, we want to uh, please sincerely appreciate our brethren who have been given for the work. If you get inside, you see that the work is fast progressing and we want to finish it before the barrier time and we want to fix the air condition. Of course, there is no provision for ceiling anymore. So please, as God reach it, as reaching out to you, please make sure you give. And then if you also have some careless millions, not careless, millions you cannot use in the next four or five months, please give it to us as loan. We want to make sure that place is thoroughly finished. So please, we need more money. And the Lord will bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. We give to Thanks to everyone supporting Mission Works in Glory to Monaco Ministry. I will pray that the Lord of Harvest will bless you beyond imagination in Jesus' name. Please remember your commitment you made during Mission Week and then keep uh, meeting it up and the Lord will prosper you as you do so in the name of Jesus Christ. The following brethren should please see Elder Johnson and they will be immediately after the service at the Elder's Corner. An important meeting is to be held. Uh, it includes members of the DECO team, Sister Lara Odola and Sister Runke Adisa. Please make sure you meet with our elder at the elder's corner at the end of the service. All blessed singles are kindly requested to please remain seated inside this worship or maybe at the center bed so that the zones we have their space to have their meeting at the close of this morning service to receive some very important information from your elder. Praise the Lord. I want to also announce that Brother Ehindero should see me immediately after the service. Please make sure you read the, the general pastor's decks and also read the scripture for the week and the testimony from a brother. 
praise the Lord. We want to recognize those who are fellowshipping with us for the first time on Sunday here in Rehoboth land. And we want you to be on your feet for uh, recognition. We want to formally welcome you into our midst. If you are here, please be on your feet. You are welcome. God bless you. Please give them warm handshake. The people around them. Then the ushering team should please bring them to the front. We greet you now. In the name of our Lord Jesus, here is Glory Tabernacle Ministry. We are here preparing for the coming of the Lord, either to meet Him by rapture or to meet Him by death. Whichever way, we are set to see our Master face to face. So, if the Lord is uh, laying in your heart to be part of us, be rest assured that God will help us to prepare you, rapturable, and uh, you will not regret being a member of this ministry. But if you are passing by, you decided to worship here, please encourage the brethren that the essence of being a Christian is to make it to heaven. It's of no use being a Christian and end up in hell. So we pray that God will help you to be members of heaven uh, people in Jesus' name. So at the end of the meeting, some of our brethren will come. They will should tell you some 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 of uh, our events and share with you so please if you have any prayer points share with them they'll pray with you god answers prayer here and he will answer you in jesus name once again you are welcome god bless you Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord reigns in the midst of his people. The Lord is good unto Zion. The Lord is good unto us. He is a faithful covenant keeping God. We want to thank God that today is a special day as we all know the first sunday of the month is a special day a day of covenant that the lord has made to bless his people in this assembly in a special way and i'm sure you are here with great expectation and i pray that by the name of the lord jesus christ your expectations shall be more than met in jesus name beyond your imagination beyond your request the lord will reach out unto you in the name of jesus you will have a testimony this sunday in the name of jesus christ so please this morning and in the evening be very available spirit soul and body that you may receive maximally from the presence of the lord uh, we will be having an external speaker as we have been telling us any moment from now he will be here so we will give thanks to god and of course we need to also uh, lift up our voices unto the lord and stand to declare the lordship of jesus christ over our lives over our homes and over the church of christ in this place glory tabernacle ministry in the past few days and weeks 
you know all that we have been experiencing. It has never been that much. And the devil is because, you see, like a pioneer pastor will say, if the devil does not see anything good in a person, he will not bother to attack a, a, such a person. It's because great things are ahead. Mighty, glorious things are ahead. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Yes. The Lord is in the midst of his church. And the Lord is mighty. And in Isaiah 43, verses 2 to 3. Isaiah 43, 2 to 3. Because we use that to pray. Turn to it. Isaiah 43, 2 to 3. Isaiah 43, 2 to 3. He says, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon you. For I am your God, the Holy One of Israel. Your Savior I have given Egypt for your ransom and Ethiopian saber for you. And that is our Lord in the name of Jesus. We'll be on our feet now and pray. First of all, thanking God for his great and exceeding promises and for his covenant, the covenant of life that he has given to us as individuals and over your family and as a group of God's people whom he has established in this place. Lift up your voice and give thanks to God. Just thank him that you are in position to lift up your voice this morning as a living soul on earth today. And thank him for his covenant. He is the covenant keeping God. He is the covenant keeping God. Oh, Father, thank you. For you love us. You are upon. Your eyes are upon the righteous. We bless your name. We praise you. We worship you. Yes. You are the covenant keeping God. When you say a thing, you watch over your word to perform. Hmm. Father, we bless your name. Gracious Lord, we exalt you. Declare the sovereignty of the Lord over Glory Tabernacle Ministry. Over every soul in this ministry. Tell the Lord, we proclaim you Lord over our lives. We proclaim you King over us. We declare your Lordship over every soul in this household of faith. Tell the Lord that indeed the experiences we are having is like passing through the waters and passing through the fire. But we hold on to your word. You said when, not even if. The Lord says when we pass through it. He knows that we will pass through this state at a time like this. Therefore ask that the Lord will keep to his promise for us because he is the covenant keeping God. You are the faithful God. You said you will never leave us nor forsake us. Even when we pass through the waters, you said you will be with us. And through the rivers, they shall not overtake us. They will, they will not overflow us. When we pass through fire, the situations we are passing through, presently is like passing through fire. But you have promised, Lord. That you shall not leave us alone. The fire will not burn us. We shall not be destroyed. The flame will not kindle against us. For you love us. Declare the, the love of God. Profess that we receive this love of God. We receive your love, O oh God. You said you love us. And because you love us, we know it shall be well. And we are saying it is well. It is well with us in Glory Tabernacle Ministry. 
it is well you are the holy one of israel you are our savior you are our lord you are our king you are our redeemer lord let it be unto us according to your promise give the egyptians for our sake for our ransom give the ethiopians and the sabers for our lives oh god we look up unto you your word says they that look up unto the lord shall never be put to shame so gracious lord our eyes look up unto you the author and the finisher of our faith oh jesus plead the blood of jesus christ over yourself over your family and over the entire membership of glory tabernacle ministry we plead the blood of jesus let the blood of jesus christ cover everyone 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 we receive preservation we receive preservation therefore declare that thus far no more devil whatever you have been doing we put a stop to your move we put a stop to your move in the name of the lord jesus christ we resist you devil we resist you satanic agent we resist you everything that is contrary to our well-being we resist you we come against you in the name of the lord jesus christ we are of the lords we are the lord's property banish the spirit of fear banish the spirit of anxiety banish the spirit of worry banish the spirit of sorrow banish the spirit of grief we reject them we reject them in the name of jesus let every planting that is not of God amidst us be uprooted. Let every planting, every insignia that is not of God amidst us be burnt up now. Let the fire of the Lord purify his people. Take away every dross. Take away everything that gender unto wickedness. Makadika basanta kalia radale lika ushte mama soko praya landeke galia radabo ushte mama soko praya ndeke dia lika basta mama santa kaila radi lika paya ndele kredele basanta kaya ladi rubo ushte mama santa kaya ladi lego mo rumungo to kupra lengra delegi bos. Rumongo loro bo koste manza teke garaba koste mo sunto kopaya mingele rada digi mo sunto kopai gelia inka la raba santa keke rigama santa kiki 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 ask the Holy Spirit the Comforter to come and have His way unhindered in the midst of His church let the Comforter comfort every soul let the Strengthen us, strengthen us all. Let the mighty hand of the Lord be upon us for good in an unprecedented manner. Pray and receive grace, 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 grace for yourself, grace for the journey ahead, grace for the journey ahead, grace for the journey ahead. Shapali grade kapashtama sandai kapashtama masoka ne grade kapashtama leka ushtama saka leka pastanda i kapalandre lokushte mama saka de kele kaka 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 declare the lordship of Jesus Christ over this assembly. We declare that Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord over Glory Tabernacle Ministry. Jesus Christ is Lord over every soul and over every family represented here. Jesus Christ is Lord. Makate lebralengedero. 
Bralangeni and Gramama Soko Pralege de Basanta Kekekedia. Magradele Womo Kostama Sante Kelia. E Kapaya la Ragaba Consul to Kopaya. Declare that only the counsel of God we always fulfill in our midst. Every counsel that is contrary to the well-being that the Lord has ordained for us, we reject the counsel of the living God. Fulfill the counsel of the living God. Be fulfilled. The counsel of the living God. Be fulfilled. The counsel of the living God. Be fulfilled in the midst of the church of our God. Oma se calabra lengre de le bosson to copa yande le granandre de le bosson to copa lingre de le bosson de eliana capra lingre de mosson to copa yande le grene mosson to copa yandra gaba son to copa yaladi prende keli masson to colia yes thank you jehovah oh all we are saying Jesus is Lord. All we are saying, Jesus is Lord. All we are saying, and the president. Of the Christian Association of Nigeria, can Hallelujah. Um, and as our beloved Reverend Doctor Samson Olasupo Adeni Ayokunle, you are welcome, sir. And of course, he didn't come alone. His dearly beloved wife. Pastor Mrs. Tony Ayokule is here with him. You are welcome, man. We are glad to have you with us. And of course, uh, he came with others uh, with him. I met with um, his PA some days back. We've been talking on phone for quite some time now, and then we met during the week. And uh, that's uh, Pastor Dr. Jenfa. You are welcome, and the protocol officer is by him. Sorry, I've forgotten your name, so please pardon me. Yes. Uh, we want to thank God that every one of us is prepared for this occasion. And I want to also, well, will I say, apologize for the, um, the heat that you may be experiencing here, because this is a temporary place. We all, uh, especially to our visitors, this is a temporary place. By God's grace, in about a month's time, we'll be moving back to a better land where the condition will be far better than this. Praise the Lord. So, um, I have the pleasure of inviting to this podium, to the altar here, the servant of the Lord, Reverend Dr. Hi, your colleague. You're welcome, sir. Hallelujah. I feel very much humbled by the extension of your invitation to me to come and talk to the people of God here today. But I am also confident that it is not I that will speak to you, but the Lord himself, in the name of Jesus. I know he will speak to you because you are his people. I know he will speak to you because 
He loves you. And I know he will speak to you because he has said that we are two or three are gathered in his name. He's very much there in their midst. So I know that Jesus is here according to his word. And he's here for you to overcome all storms of life in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to commiserate with the church today with soberness of heart over the home call of a general of faith, a man at the center of the heart of God, Pastor Obed, the one God used to start this assembly many years ago, who has fought and conquered. And when the Lord saw that there was no battle left for him to fight, he beckoned to him come back home. He has gone gloriously to his standard world. I know Pastor Obed many years ago when we were together at the University of Ibadan as students. He read education physics and he did it to PhD level. We were also fellowshipping together at the Ibadan Varsity Christian Union. And uh, he had been an anchor for many people. He had been a stable, committed soldier of Christ. And he did, when, when he decided to run over leadership of this assembly, it was another bank, which I think, I think, never happened before in Pentecostal circle. What I think resembled it was that of Ba Lit Ba Akindayomi, the founder of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, who decided to hand over the leadership of the assembly, not to his second in command, but a man after the heart of God. By that time, Adeboye was not in reckoning among the leaders of the church. But by revelation, God told him that was the man that would take the leadership. And he handed it over. And because he obeyed God, that church has continued to thrive and excel. And I know, glory tabernacle we excel. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Pastor Bert was a selfless soldier of Christ. He was not a commercial prophet. Not at all. Otherwise, by now, he should have owned a jet of his own. But these are people who decided to store all the treasures in heaven where the thieves can never break through and steal. And as I said, he has gone to his eternal reward. You have nothing to regret about his home call. Nothing at all. He left nothing undone that should be done. He fought, he conquered. No dent was against him. No adversity. <laughs> Many of us will continue to Struggle and struggle to reach where he reached in the ministry. He never bothered about faith, not at all. A gentle soldier, a man of the spirit. He remained the same since those days up till the time of the uncle. We met again in November. When I was invited as the guest speaker at the 
National Food Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship in Lagos. And uh, why he couldn't recognize me because he thought I should be older than this. <laughs> and I called him, I said, as we used to call him Brown Bear, he knew that it must be somebody that knew him long ago. And after exchanging pleasantries, interestingly that day, the two of us were to speak. The two of us were to speak. And that was the last time in November 2018 that I saw him. I would have embraced him the more. Maybe I could start anointing more from him. So when you see Christians, brothers, fathers of faith that God is using, make sure you, any opportunity you, you have to be close to them, embrace them very well so that anointing can be transferred. We, we thank God for his life. Church, be encouraged. Mama, be well encouraged. Be well encouraged. The psalmist the says, I've been young. Now I am old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. No, he see begging bread. Your future is in the hands of the Lord. And your future is better than today. Many children will come to surround you. Beyond biological children. And you will have nothing to regret. You will live the rest of your life in fulfillment. In the name of Jesus. He has left a legacy that you should continue to be proud of and thank God for. When a soldier of Christ like this died, we have no, no other opportunity to celebrate him than a time like this. He didn't die in, in, in I mean, in, in, with, I mean, what we can, we can make us to pity him and say, ah, sorry. No, but for us to rejoice that the devil has lost another battle. Amen and amen. But his own call is a reminder to us that the trumpet can sound any time. So we have no continuing city here. No matter how beautiful the house may be, no matter how grandiose the plants may be, no matter what position we are holding, the trumpet can come any time. Like the scout motor, be prepared, be ready all the time. Live every day as if it were the last of your life. Let every day of your life be your best. The best for God. I pray that the grace of God I fall upon this church. And the sorrow of heart will be replaced with the song of triumph. Yeah. I think I will hear better amen to that prayer. Yeah. Continue to encourage mama. Flock round her as children, true children indeed. More than you were doing when Papa was alive. Now much more. Mama, you will never walk alone. Yeah. In Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. Without reference to what I've said, when I was contemplating on the message, what the Lord told me is, you can walk over your stone. So I'm going to speak to you on the topic. You can walk over your stone. And I read from the book of Matthew, chapter 14, from verse 22 to 33. Matthew 14, 22 to 33. Immediately Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side. While he sent the multitudes away. And when he has sent the multitude away, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. Now when evening came, he was alone there. But the boat was now in the middle of the sea, tossed by the waves. 
for the wind was contrary. Now in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went to them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out for fear. But immediately, Jesus spoke to them, saying, Be of good cheer. It is I. Do not be afraid. And when Peter and Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. So he said, come. And when Peter had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind was boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried out, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. Then those who were in the boat came and worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. Amen. The sea is a large collection of water. The sea or large pool of water is not what anyone who does not know how to swim can play with. Because he can carry away the most mighty man. The seed that the scripture is talking about here was not a sea as such, but a lake. But they call this sea because that big pool of water was existing inside where they hardly saw water. In Israel, it doesn't rain. Hardly does it rain ten times in a year. It's a dry land. I've been there several times, more than 13 times. Combing every nook and corner of Israel and being to many of these places of historical importance in the Bible. They see also, I, I, I rode on it almost a year, every year. I still be there, I know God by God's grace. Leading contingents of people there to encourage them and strengthen their faith. Not to make going to Israel a jamboree, but a transforming spiritual experience. So the Sea of Galilee wasn't a sea. It is still a lake. But you cannot cross it with your feet, except by boat. Unless you want to walk around it, which will take you a long time. The life in the northern part of Israel revolves around this lake. The water in this lake is supplied by River Jordan. Fishing activities take place here. It was around this lake that Jesus gave the Beatitudes. At one aspect, one part of the lake, he, he sat the people down and told them, blessed are this, blessed that that. It is around this lake that we have a city where Jesus used to stay, Capernaum, which is uh, called Capernaum, or transliterated by the English people as Capernaum, Capernaum. That was the, the village of Peter, the apostle. And it was a fishing village, because they had no other job there than to fish. It was in that place that Jesus healed 
Simon Peter's brother-in-law. And at, around this lake, we have other cities like Genesaret, Tiberia, and others, just surrounding the lake. That was where Jesus was and his disciples. He ministered at one section of it. People were blessed. And he wanted the ministry to spread, the good news to spread beyond one particular location. So he told the disciples, enter into the boat. Let us go to the other side. And the storm came. As I told you, you don't just jump into the sea if you don't know how to swim. There was a time when I was in the secondary school. And as, as a son of a farmer, Sunday was always a free day when our parents didn't have anything to do to us. They can't take us to farm. We'd be free from them. So that day I went to the river to swim with my colleagues. They knew how to swim. I didn't. So when I saw all of them trying to do this and going to the water, I said, I'm a woman being too. So I tried to move, but I saw that I lost my bearing. I was sinking down and I was swallowing water. I was swallowing water. You wouldn't have known me today. If not because God rescued me from the power of water. One of my colleagues, my classmate, decided to swim towards me, put me on his back, and decided to swim out of danger. And they started pressing me like this. My, my eyes are torn. Only God saved me. Since that day, when I see water, I run away. I don't move there again. The same thing with storm. Storm is very dangerous. When you are hearing storm, 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 we, don't, we are very lucky in this part of the world because we don't have storms. We don't have storms. But we are the have tornado, hurricane, etc. In the United States of America, Canada, etc. And in Europe, <laughs> when you hear storm, you will run. Because it can devastate anything, it can bring anything down. Both woman and non woman I had two bad, terrible experiences of storm when I was living in Europe. I was traveling from the city of Manchester to Amsterdam. It was just about 45 minutes flight. And the pilot already told us that in 15 minutes time, we'll be landing. Then, the storm came. I saw the plane dropping from its normal height as if it was going to crash land. This, it was beating the thing, everything went silent. The next thing I saw in the plane was people falling held down and were permitting inside the plane. Nobody could care for them because everybody was struggling. People were call Jesus, were calling Jesus, people were speaking in tongues, were speaking in tongues. People didn't know anything, they were looking like this. <laughs> after 45 minutes, that was one hour after the man made announcement. We landed in Amsterdam. You know that these white people, they are never excited by anything. But that day, without anybody telling them to clap, all of them, spontaneously, they started clapping when the plane landed. I, I didn't know that the, the white people can be excited to clap. So they clapped that day because none of them wanted to die. It was just by whiskers that we missed it. The second one was the time I was traveling from Houston, Texas, to Dallas, Fort Worth, Dallas. <laughs> Another terrible day. Another terrible day. Storm came. 
I, 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 I continue to wonder why they didn't see that. The meteorologists didn't see it. And we, we, we just entered into it. And the plane almost crash landed again. But by God's grace, it was because God saved me that I'm before you today. I will have died again. This is the story with many of us that travel very often. I don't think there is any way I do enter the plane. Plane has become my nightmare. But I have no choice because of responsibility of office. You just have to do that because it's part of your responsibility. Therefore, if you don't know what storm means, storm is anything and water is anything that has the ability to claim your life. It is something that has the potential to end your dream. Storm is the unexpected happening. that has the power to change the course of history in a way you may not like. Beloved, I don't know what storm you are facing presently. As the storm came to us while we were going to, from Manchester to Amsterdam in Poland, Without us preparing for it, it can come suddenly. If there is any like that you are battling with, by the authority of the risen Christ, who still the storm on the sea for the disciples, that storm will come to their name today in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord will see you through, and you will share your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you some of the facts about storm. Number one, the devil is progress for anyone and is always around to truncate it through storm. Hello? The devil is progress. If you don't hear any other thing, hear that. The devil is progress for anyone most especially God's children. And he's always around to truncate any progress that you are making or that is coming your way. When Jesus told the disciples, enter the boat, go out to the other side, that was progress. He didn't want them to be rotating on this same spot, like the barber's chair. You know that the barber's chair is rotating like this, but it's not moving. It's not advancing. It's on the same spot. The devil can make a person to be full of activity without progress. Whatsoever has conditioned your life to that spot, full of activity, I am without progress. Whatsoever it may be, it will come to an end in your life today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus said, enter into the boat. Move to the other side. The devil had them. And he knew that the, the Lord did not enter the boat with them. So he went to corner them. Hello? Hello? You have to be vigilant because of your adversary, the devil. He wants to corner you. I'm coming to that. The time of progress is a time to be extra careful. When you are climbing the ladder, please don't be careless. I experienced this almost all the time. When I was a nobody, when I occupied no, no big position, 
You will not see my name in the newspaper. But almost every day now, even men will put my name there. Today I have read about my, my name in the newspaper. People so to Satan. People who don't fear eternal judgment. And the Lord is giving them long growth to pull. If they don't change, their judgment is determined and written already. They will not go unpunished. That the devil using them. Healthy person will progress without any cause. When somebody is making progress near you, does he stop you from making progress? is not looking for the trouble of another boat. The sky is big enough for all of them to fly without any collision. Were well, we born together that you don't want me to progress? Even if we were born together, did I force you to be born with me? Hello, brother. The devil has progress. So when progress is coming, we prepare for battle. We prepare. Number two. Tom is a normal aspect of life. Don't be scared by it. Our Lord, when he was here, he was in a perfect state because he was God man among God. Hello, that theology. He was God man. In him, God dwells bodily. That's what the book of Colossians says. God had dwelled in him bodily. No wonder I told Philip, have you been so long with me without knowing me? If you, if you know me, you have known my father. I am my father. I want. As perfect as Jesus was, he couldn't escape storm of life. In fact, in terms of facing opposition, I never saw a preacher that faced opposition like him. Every word of Jesus, people in the church, in the church there, they twisted. Every word, they twisted. Let me tell you, if you want to follow the path of truth, you cannot please everybody. Jesus never did. He, he, so, he was so much used to, to affliction, to oppression, to storm, that the Bible described him as a man acquainted with grief and sorrow. When you have an acquaintance, and your acquaintance is grief, and it's also sorrow, what type of person are you? And that was and is our Lord Jesus Christ. Can you be different? No. Though he knows your capacity, he's there to fight for you. But don't count it very strange when you face Tom. It's normal in life unless you don't want to rise. If you want to rise, get prepared. In 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 12, the Bible says, Below, do not think it strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, although some strange things happen to you. You know when you are facing this crisis and you begin to cry, Hey, 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 I'm fed up. 
I'm tired. Am I the only one? What will the devil be doing? He will be rejoicing. That very soon, I will finish him. Very soon, I will finish her. Many, on many occasions, we sing the song that doesn't go into our hearts, into our, into our in, inner me. Faith can sing in tribulation, or oh, oh, it be. If, if faith can sing in tribulation, why are you weeping? Hello? When you know that storm is normal, in fact, the Bible says the same type of affliction your brothers all over the world are experiencing. In John chapter 16, verse 33, the Bible says, Jesus himself said, these things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have what? Tribulation. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world for you. Hallelujah. That is the difference between you and the unbeliever. When it comes, come. You know that that is not the end of your life. That is not the end of the story of your life. Because you have an anchor. Hallelujah. You have what? An anchor that keeps the soul. It is steadfast. It is sure. Nothing can shake it. It can shake everything. And can shake anything. That is the law we saw. That is the difference between you passing storm and an unbeliever. You can turn your story, I mean your, your storm, to a story of success. That is it and that is the will of God because it says he has overcome. Before you, 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 ask, you start the battle at all, he has won the battle for you. Amen. Amen. Number three. I, I want you to, I mean, I want you to know that storms can come in different ways. Storms come in different ways. Different ways. Two storms here we saw in the lives of the disciples. What was the first storm? In the passage we have read, the water, the sea. But they quickly got a, a boat to be able to overcome that. The second one was the wind. The wind. Two storms at the same time. So, storms can come in different ways and through different means. I don't have the time, but I will quickly point out about two ways by which storm can come. Number one, through careless opening of one's life to sin. If you carelessly open your life to sin, the enemy will strike. For David, the second king in Israel, storm entered his life through careless look. Careless look and joblessness, idleness. The soldiers were at war, and big man has come. Isn't it? Big manism can be your nightmare if you don't. You, you, you are not careful. When you are not poor, no danger. Now that you are rich, be very careful. The enemy is lurking around the corner. 
big manism has come. He now went to the top of the roof and was walking about as a big man, the owner of the entire nation of Israel. And he started looking carelessly. So a woman that was bathing. Didn't he see a woman before? Well, that woman from heaven. Hello? Careless look. And the enemy struck. Thus enter his heart. And he continued like that. You were aware of the crisis that brought into the life of David. It almost wept him and his kingdom away. He paid the alley for it. It was the special mercy of God on David that made him to retain his kingdom and die in peace. Beloved, I warn you. Be circumspect. The enemy is watching you. Don't play with sin. Don't think you are strong. You have arrived. Arrived where? You have not gone. You have not started the journey at all. Let him that thinks that he stands be careful and be watchful. Less he falls. Don't let people Pick your carcasses. Don't allow that. That's what the devil intends for you. Don't allow that. Carelessness, careless living almost caused David his life. Not only that, it was a life of sin telling lies. That led to the premature death of Ananias and Sapphira. Couple with covetousness again. Hello? Is there any of these things in your life? The enemy is in your life. You are living with it. You are sleeping with it. You need to kick him out. He is not afraid. The devil is not a relation of yours and can never be. You are a new creation. You are a new creature in Christ. Ananias and Sabina, they sold their land and they decided to lie about their month. It brought into them. They went to the disciples. Hey, Peter, has this all that you sold the, 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 the land? What did he say? Yes. You may cover your sin that no man may know, but you can't hide it from God. He that covereth his sin, the Bible says, will not prosper. Is are you what you call small, small lies? Are they coming out of your life, mouth? No, no lie is small. The small lie is as costly before God as mother. So be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Don't invite storm into your life. Storm came to Ananias and Sabira and swept them away. Covetousness. Hiding what you should bring before the Lord. Some of us think we are wiser than God. Your unfaithful stewardship can invite storm into your life. Unfaithful stewardship. Unfaithful stewardship. Why everything is with you in the house? They are yours. But when you are bringing what you should bring to God, you can't deceive God. He knows how much He has blessed you and what He expects from you.
Well, there is this uh, tsunami against giving in the church where people criticize tithing. And they said, Christians should not tithe because it's not biblical. Who told you it's not biblical? Do you have a different Bible from our own? I've read and read both the Old and the New Testament, and I've wrote a paper on tithing, Christian giving. Tithing is one of it. Tithing is the minimum acceptable giving you can give to God. Hello, somebody. You don't want to answer me again? Hello, somebody. Tithe is the minimum acceptable giving you can give to God. Out of your resources. Beginning from the Old Testament. In the New Testament, it is everything you can give. But not less than tithe. When Jesus Christ was talking to the scribes and the Pharisees, that they said, uh, what I should have given to you, my father and my mother, I is Koban, I have given to the Lord. And he said, well, it's good that you are giving tithe to the Lord, but what belongs to the Lord, you should have, I mean, you give to the Lord, it doesn't stop you from giving to your parents what you should give to them. Jesus didn't say stop giving. Hello, somebody. But some people read the Bible upside down because they want to stumble through the Bible. I don't give tithe. I give more than tithe. When you hear of great men, John Wesley, one of the things God used to make him famous was his life of giving. When he was receiving 30 pounds of salary, he was spending 28 and giving two. When his income increased to 60 pounds, he was giving 32 unto the Lord and still spending 28. When his salary increased to 90 pounds, he was spending 28 and giving the rest to God. When his salary increased to 120 pounds, he was spending 28 and giving the rest to God. On and on until his salary was 1,600 pounds. He was spending 28 and was giving the rest to God. Do you envy such people if God promotes them? If God gives them fame? Have you not sold your own fame by, with your own money by keeping it? Spending it in the way you like. Hello? So when we decide to lie before God, we are unfaithful. And through unfaithfulness, the devil will strike and storm will come. I pray you will not be your own enemy. I say you will not be your own enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, the enemy may also strike us and storm may come through prayerlessness. If our lives are, if we are prayerless in our walk with the Lord, if we are weak in our prayers, the enemy may come. Of course, in the book of Luke chapter 22, from verse 39 to 40, Jesus told his disciples, come here out. He went to the Mount of Olives as he was accustomed. And his disciples also followed him. When he came to the place, he said to them, Hear, hear me. Hear what he said. He said to them, Pray that you may not enter into temptation. Pray that you may not give room to stop. Pray that you may not allow the tempter to enter your life. How about your prayer life? You talk and jest more than you pray. And that is a problem. When you see a Christian who is less in prayer, that, that, that Christian will talk without 
break without any jam. He will just be saying anything. He can say anything. It's a life in the flesh for you not to know how to pray. Pray all kinds of prayer. Pray in understanding and pray in the spirit. There are certain storms that you can't overcome by your own language that you understand. You need to pray in the spirit. Now, let me give you an example. We were conducting crusade uh, in Lagos in one church around 1990. 1990. That day, I was the one interpreting. And a madman entered the church. Madman, half naked, entered the church from the back. And he was coming. I was saying, let me say my own. Let me say my own. He was coming to the front. I was thinking that the ushers will do something. They didn't do anything. Since that day, I lost confidence in the ushers. And Apostle Sunday Pukwola our ministry. And you know that he's taller than me. And he has better body than me. So I was relying on him. <laughs> but he looked at me. He said, Brother Tupo, go and meet him. I said, Eh? Say, go and meet what? <laughs> but in the presence of the congregation, we that were saying that Jesus says this or he is, <laughs> to be struggling over a madman, and for me to be beating black and blue inside the church by a madman, uh, that will be too difficult. But he had told me to go and meet him. Hey, what will I do? Unfortunately, that was a Baptist church. Baptist church in those days, they don't speak in tongues. I looked at it, I said, what, will I, what type of prayer will I be saying now? What, what type of prayer? I, I wasn't prepared for prayer. I said, I think the best thing now is to speak in tongues. This spirit was saying, you speak in tongues in a Baptist church? I said, hey, when Baptists cannot rescue me. <laughs> I will rescue myself. <laughs> no alternative. So the man was coming. Let me say my own. And I, I, I started going go. Raku katura ala makunde. Rumatakuri. He was coming. I was going to meet him. Rugata hure kantaya. He was coming. I was going to. When it was about few few meters for us to meet, he said, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inanjomio, inanjomio, inanjom. And he fell. <laughs> By that time, I gave confidence. <laughs> Hello? Pray all kinds of prayer. Some of you, you say you, are, you think you are a big man. And your mouth is so heavy. You cannot pray. If you cannot pray, you will know how to suffer. I pray that will not be your portion. In the name of Jesus. Be sober. Be vigilant. Your adversary, the devil, is rolling, proudly moving about, looking for someone to defraud. Beloved, be very careful. The enemy is looking for a way to attack you because you are careless. Finally, because I cannot finish this message to this morning, because of time, I will continue in the evening.
this song may come to your life as a deliberate attack from Satan himself. You have done nothing wrong. But he just wants to block your way to eternity. I know many believers may be in that situation. Don't worry. Job's case was a good example. When you are youthful in the hands of God, he wants to derail you. He wants he want to disrupt your attention. Your focus. He wants to dabaru everything. He wants you to lose your stability. He can come. He went and accused Job before God. The man that the Bible referred to as a perfect man. No other man was like him. Why should storm come to his life? If not for wicked Satan. I always tell people. If you don't know Satan, I know Satan. And devil is a very bad devil. Very, very bad. Don't move now, don't play with him. He's a very bad devil. Don't take anything from him. He went deliberately to attack Job. When the enemies are come against you like storm of water, the spirit of the living God will raise a standard against you. In the name of Jesus. Many of the physical battles, the Sabians, the storm, and the all others happening to Job in the physical, they were determined in the spiritual. Hello? They were determined in the spiritual by the devil. Because you see the symptoms of a sickness and you think it's limited to that. The devil is at the background of it. Be sober, be vigilant. As is recorded in 1 Peter chapter 5, 8 to 10. Resist him, stand us in the face, the devil. And he may use his agents on earth to attack you, to bring you storm. His agents, human agents. I hope there is no human agent of Satan here. Hello? Some of them are in the church. Oh. If God should open your eyes to know the person you are sitting with, some of you will decide not to come to church again. One man was interpreting a preacher. And as they were, he was preaching and he was interpreting. Go open the eyes of the interpreter. He saw somebody sitting in the crowd with two mouths. He, he focused and said, ah, what am I seeing? Somebody with two mouths? He couldn't hold it again. He told the preacher, sir, don't you see somebody in there having two mouths? The preacher said, keep your mouth shut. What's your problem? Don't you know that we are preaching so that people with two mouths might have more mouth? <laughs> there are people with two mouths in the church. They are never stable. They can never be trusted. And the message is coming out so that the mouth can become one. Keep your mouth shut. Only because we will open your eyes. Evil men may be in the church. When the children of God gathered together, Satan was there. Are you the Satan? They manifest themselves in various ways, in nocturnal visits, in the night. Come, come to you in dream to attack you. My wife is here. I'm sorry if I embarrass you. One time she went to a city and stayed in the house of one servant of God. This man didn't know that his mother was a witch. And that day in the room where my, my wife was staying, 
the mother of this servant of God was also staying overnight. And in the midnight, mommy had a dream that this woman left her bed, came and sat on my wife's stomach, and was trying to twist the neck to break it. And while she was having that dream, mommy shouted from the dream and woke up. And when she woke up, she found the woman physically on her, sitting on the stomach. She opened her mouth like this. We record one. When are we? When did we start playing with ourselves like that? <laughs> Leaving your own bed to come and sit on my stomach. And the woman just stood up like this. They didn't talk as if nothing happened. Went back to her bed. If it were you, what will you do? <laughs> that was war. That was war. If you don't have what the Yoruba people call a Jesara Jesu, you are gone. The, we saw the signs of it. Mommy would have shouted, but he felt if I should raise alarm, this woman will never be able to enter here again. And this family will scatter. This family will not scatter through me. I know the Lord God I'm serving. This woman is no match for me. But when it was day, she called the wife of the man and said, be very careful. You are living with snake. She is ready to attack. This is what happened. And the wife of the man said, I know her. But I thank God that nobody told you about her except herself. If I told you about her, they will say, I am calling my mother-in-law name. Hello? That witch that you are living with, if she does not change and does not leave you alone, that witch will die. In the name of Jesus. Serve so not a wish to live. The wickedness they have done is enough. If they will continue to hinder the cause of the gospel, may the Lord baptize them with death. In the mighty name of Jesus. What happened to mommy? After that, the nerve started swelling. Not like a small baby. Started swelling. Swelling, swelling. We knew that it was not what the medical people have answered for. So we started tonguing on it. Tonguing, 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 anointing it with tonguing, anointing it with tonguing, and for about two years. And the thing disappear. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Evil people. Evil people. Bring in stone working for Satan. If they are around you. May the Lord baptize them with death. If they fail to repent. When I was in, at the University of Ibadan, that's my final example. I don't want to keep too late so that you will not decide you will never invite me again. 
I I had a friend. He drank. He came from a polygamous house. His own mother was the first wife. And the father married another one. He had a dream that while he was sleeping, a snake came and attacked him by the ear. And blood was gushing out. And when he woke up, he just saw blood. And the, the, the back of the ear swelling up. That was how the battle started. It was a real battle. The two came completely out of the university for six months. I was the one taking lecture notes for him. He almost died. He almost died. Many of the battles you see in the physical came from the spiritual. The devil and his agents, they are behind it. But we have an anchor that holds the soul. It is steadfast. It is sure. It is unmovable. It can move everything. That is our Lord, our Savior, our Master, Jesus Christ. Said, be a good cheer. I have overcome the world for you. The more you are tied by the devil, the more be confident in the Lord. Cast not away your confidence that has a great recompense of reward. You need patience. After you have done all things that you might stand. I promise to your life. You will see the end of your storm. I say you will see the end of your storm. I say you will see the end of your storm. I say you will see the end of your storm. I say you will see the end of your storm. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to rise on your feet. It is time to pray. 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 You will say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Say it again. My father, my father. Say it again. My father, my father. I am crossing over. I am crossing over. Climbing to the next ladder. All hindrances on my way. Consume them by fire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. My father, my father. I am crossing over. To the other side. All hindrances on my way. Consume them with your fire. In the name of Jesus. Consume them today. Meet them down. In the name of Jesus. Meet them down. 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 Read the talk. Yeah. Uh, that your amen. Why is your amen weak here like that? Are you not a Pentecostal church? Even Baptists are saying amen more than that. I say your head will read the talk. Yeah. At 
the Lord liveth, your head will reach the top. You will say, my father, my father. All the forces. Gathering around me. Frustrating me. From reaching the top. Consume them with fire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. what you have said. And the prophecy will come in form of tongues. I'm in form of songs. If you don't want it, keep your mouth shut. If you think that God is here, sing the song way. If you, you think that your God is far away, just be careless. But every moment here is very important. The moment God knew you are coming here to, 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 to meet him, he has sent his ministering agents ahead of you to grant you desires of your heart. If you are serious, those who are serious, who are desirous, they will release the goodies. Heaven will open for them. Amen? You will sing the song. Doma Yuda, I am going higher. is being hindered. You are long due to be called a mother. Your conception is hindered. It's the same spirit that is at work. You are here this morning. I want some people to raise up their hands. 
I want to pray for them. Your promotion is in that. For people whose promotion may be in that, where you stand, place your two hands on your head. When I'm praying, you will say mighty amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. These are your children. You have said they will not labor in vain. They will not bring forth for trouble. But the enemy has decided to block their progress. Today, the enemy that is blocking your progress, I unseat in the name of Jesus. The power of wickedness that is retarding your progress, today I submit in the name of Jesus. Your life, your destiny, your progress is rescued from the hands of your enemy in the name of Jesus. The entrance on your way today is clear in the name of Jesus. Begin to ascend. Begin to ascend. Begin to ascend. Begin to ascend. Receive your double promotion. In the name of Jesus. That better seat, which they are hinder you from, without controversy, occupy it now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, eternal Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes, those who need children. Raise your hands. I want to pray for you. And if you are not among them, we do, the rest of you just go to your seats. Those who are believing God for children, just come forward to pray for you quickly. If you are coming, come quickly. I dip my hands in the blood of Jesus and I break. The yoke of barrenness. In your lives today, in the name of Jesus. By the power of the sprinkled blood of the Son of God, I release into your life fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus. Anointing to conceive. Amen. Anointing to be fruitful. Amen. Fall upon them. Amen. Fall upon them. Amen. Fall upon them. Amen. Fall upon them. Amen. Anointing for fruitfulness. Amen. Anointing for fruitfulness. Amen. Anointing for fruitfulness. Amen. Anointing for fruitfulness. Amen. Fall upon them. Amen. Anointing for fruitfulness. Amen. Fall upon them. Amen. Fall upon them. Fall, fall upon them. Fall upon. Fall upon them. Fall upon them. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Anointing for fruitfulness. Amen. Fall upon him. Anointing for fruitfulness. Fall upon him. 
Fall upon him. Fall upon him. Fall upon him. Fall upon him. Oh, In the name. Oh, Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. In the name of Jesus. Anointing for fruitfulness. Fall upon her. 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 Anointing for fruitfulness. Fall upon her. Fall upon her. Power in my shanga. Anointing for fruitfulness. Fall upon her. How we can send a Anointing for fruitfulness. Fall upon her. 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 In the name of Jesus. Anointing for fruitfulness. Fall upon him. 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 In the name of Jesus. Anointing for fruitfulness. Fall upon her. Be fruitful in your body. Be fruitful in your body. Be fruitful in your body. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Multiply. Be fruitful in your body. Be fruitful. Bodyless, you are broken. Amen. In his body. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Anointing for fruit tonight. Fall upon him. In the name of Jesus. Anointing for fruit tonight. Fall upon her. In the name of Jesus. Anointing for fruit tonight. Call upon him. Fall upon him. Anointing for fruit tonight. Fall upon her. By fire. By fire. By fire. Amen. By fire. Amen. By fire. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Anointing for fruit tonight. Fall upon her. Anointing for fruit tonight. <laughs> upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. There shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. The yoke in your life is broken. Amen. By fire. Amen. It is broken now. Amen. Broken now. Broken now. Amen. Broken now. Amen. Broken now. Amen. Broken now. Amen. Broken. Broken. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Anointing for fruit in it. Fall upon him. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Fall upon him. Amen. Fall upon him. Power in my Alababa. My Alababa. Anointing for fruit in it. Fall upon him. Anointing for fruit in it. Fall upon her. In the name of Jesus. Anointing for fruitfulness. <laughs> Fall upon her. By fire. By fire. By fire. By fire. In the name of Jesus. Anointing for fruitfulness. <laughs> Fall upon her. Fall upon her. Fall upon her. Kaori Masauri. Go! Kuri! Fire! Lusa! Lusa! Let her go. Lusa, let her go. Anointing for fruit net. Receive now. Receive, 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 receive it, receive it, receive it by fire. Receive it. Power in Kishanda. Anointing for fruit net. Receive now by fire. Receive in the name of Jesus. Anointing for fruit net. In your womb. Receive now. In the name of Jesus. Anointing for fruitfulness. Receive now your body. Your body is rewired. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Be fruitful. Be fruitful in your body. In the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in your body. In the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in your body. In the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in your body. In the name of Jesus, be fruitful, 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 
Befrofo, 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 by fire! Befrofo, Befrofo, fire! Befrofo, your body is rewired. Befrofo, in your body. Befrofo, in the name of Jesus. Befrofo, in your body. In the name of Jesus. Befrofo, in the name of Jesus. Befrofo, in the name of Jesus. Befrofo, in your body. In the name of Jesus, by fire, you are released from barrenness. Now, 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 now. Bring her. Bursaria. Break your fallow grounds. So not among the tongues. Command fruitfulness to your life. I break the power of barrenness in the name of Jesus. Lusa, Lusa. Bring her here. Lusa, 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 let her go. Now, 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 now. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. There shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. Lusa, let her go. Lusa, let her go. Lusa, let her go, 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 let her go. By fire. Let her go in the name of Jesus. Anointing for fruitfulness. Receive in your body. In the name of Jesus. Anointing for fruitfulness. Receive in your body. In the name of Jesus. Anointing for fruitfulness. Receiving your body. Amen. Receiving your body. Amen. Receive it in your body. Amen. Receive the anointing. Amen. Your body is rewired. Amen. For fruitfulness. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your body is rewired. For fruitfulness. Amen. Now. In the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in your body. The yoke of barrenness is broken. Bring her here. Bring her here. The yoke of barrenness is broken in your body now. In the name of Jesus. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. In Jesus' name. Be fruitful. In the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in your body. Be fruitful in your body. Be fruitful, be fruitful, be fruitful. Bring her. Be fruitful, be fruitful, be fruitful, be fruitful, be fruitful, be fruitful. In the name of Jesus. Marie, let's go. Be fruitful in your body now. In the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in your body. In the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in your body. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in your body. I break the yoke of barrenness in your life now. In the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in your body. I break the yoke of barrenness now in your life. In the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in your body. I break the yoke of barrenness in your life now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I break the yoke of barrenness in your life now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Be made fruitful. Be fruitful in your body. Yoke of barrenness is broken in your life. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. In the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in your body. The yoke of barrenness is broken in your life. In the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in your body. The yoke of barrenness is broken in your life now. It is broken. It is broken. It is broken. Loose her. Let her go. Loose her. 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 Let her go. Bring her. Loose her. Fire. Period. Of barrenness. Loose her now. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in your body. In the name of Jesus. Be fruitful. Be fruitful in your body. 
In the name of Jesus, your body is totally rewired for fruitfulness. Be strong in Jesus' name. Be fruitful in your body. In the name of Jesus, receive ability to conceive and deliver in Jesus' name. Be fruitful in your body. Receive ability to conceive and deliver in Jesus' name. Be fruitful in your body. Receive ability to conceive and deliver. Be fruitful in your body. In the name of Jesus, be fruitful in your body. Be fruitful in Jesus' name. Be fruitful in your body. Be fruitful in Jesus' name. Be fruitful in your body. Be fruitful. 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 Be fruitful in your body. <laughs> Lusa, in the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in your body. Be fruitful. Kaori Masiria. Lusa, barrenness go, fruitfulness come now. In the name of Jesus. Lusa, 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 Lusa. Be fruitful in your body. Let barrenness go now. Lusa. Kaori Mashiria. Bring her here. She can go. Lusa. Fire. All over you. Lusa by fire. The kingdom of God suffered the violence. The foul land take it by force. Therefore, all injury forces in our life, by the violence of the Holy Spirit, I rescue this lady from your hand, and I command her delivered from every bondage, particularly that of barrenness. In the name of Jesus. Lusa. 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 Let her go. Lusa by fire. Basuri canto balikra. You can't waste my time. Lusa and let her go. Fire all over you. Fire all over you. Fire. Koma Siri Alaba. Saiku Likaturia. Kuata ye. Wadao. Mountain before Serubabe. You'll be reduced to a plane. It's not by power, it's not by might. It's by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Yes, at the name of Jesus, every name must bow. Things in heaven, things on heart, and things underneath the heart. Every tongue in her confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Therefore, your tap root I cut off. Amen. In our life today, Lusa! Lusa! In the name of Jesus. No hiding place for you here any longer. No hiding place for you any longer. No hiding place for you any longer. This place is made totally a torment for you to live in. I command you to leave, pack your load. Go now! Go now! Go now in the name of Jesus. You are loose from the yoke of barrenness. Now, in the name of Jesus. You are loose from the yoke of barrenness. Now, in the name of Jesus. You are loose from the yoke of barrenness. Now, in the name of Jesus. You are loose from the yoke of barrenness. Now. In the name of Jesus. You are loose from the yoke of barrenness. Be fruitful. In the name of Jesus. You are loose from the yoke of barrenness. Now be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. In the name of Jesus. You are loose from the yoke of barrenness. Be fruitful. 
in the name of Jesus. You are loose from the yoke of barrenness. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. You are loose from the yoke of barrenness. Be fruitful now in the name of Jesus. You are loose from the yoke of barrenness. Be made fruitful in the name of Jesus. You are loose from the yoke of barrenness. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. You are loose from the yoke of barrenness. In the name of Jesus. You are loose from the yoke of barrenness. In the name of Jesus. Whoever you are standing for is loose from the yoke of barrenness. Today, and is made fruitful. In the name of Jesus. You are loose from the yoke of barrenness. In the name of Jesus. Today, you are loose from the yoke of barrenness. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. You are loose from the yoke of barrenness. Now. Now, 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 Lusa, in the name of Jesus. You are loose from the yoke of barrenness. Now, in the name of Jesus, you are loosed. 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 In the name of Jesus, you are loose. You are loose from the yoke of barrenness. Be fruitful now. In the name of Jesus, be fruitful. Be fruitful. <laughs> be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Bring her here. Raskelim Bode. I come against all hindrances in your life to fruitfulness. I destroy all of them. I replace barrenness with fruitfulness for you. In the name of Jesus, you are loosed. From the yoke of barrenness. In the name of Jesus. You are loose from the yoke of barrenness today. In the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in your body. In Jesus name. You are loose from the yoke of barrenness. Be fruitful in your body. Be fruitful in your body. Fire all over you. Fire all over you. Fire all over you. Fire all over you. In the name of be fruitful in your body and loose you from the yoke of barrenness. In the name of Jesus, you are loosed. You are loosed. You are loosed. You are loosed. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. In the name of Jesus. You are loosed today from the yoke of barrenness. In the name of Jesus. You are loosed. You are loosed. You are loosed. You are loosed from the yoke of barrenness. Be fruitful in your body. In the name of Jesus. You are loosed from the yoke of barrenness. Be fruitful in your body now. Be fruitful. In Jesus' name. You are loosed from the yoke of barrenness. Be fruitful in your body. Be fruitful now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the church rise. Can you just stretch your hand like this? Father, in the name of Jesus. You have said that those who come before you will never go back empty-handed. I pray for each person whose hand is stretched forward. Let the goodness of your house fill them in the name of Jesus. The goodness of your holy temple. Let it be their portion. Let it fall upon them. Let it overtake them now in the name of Jesus. 
in the area of your storm. I prophesy. Let there be peace. Amen. Let there be peace. Amen. Let there be a great calm. Amen. A great calm in your heart. Amen. A great calm in your place of work. Amen. A great calm in your business. Amen. A great calm in your journey. Amen. A great calm in love for your children. Amen. A great calm in your bodies. Amen. In the name of Jesus. May the Almighty God overshadow you this time. And cause you to see the end of your storm. May you be ever triumphant. May you continue to overcome. May you come back with songs of testimony. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be thy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let me hear a better amen. amen. Let me hear a thunderous amen. amen. Jam your hands together for the Lord. Thank you very much. In the evening, I will complete this text which I was discussing with you by the grace of God. See you in the evening. Thank you very much. Shout hallelujah. No, he has taught us to shout. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. We are going to pray over our tithes and offerings now. And uh, I don't need to tell you to give. Give if you want to give. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we just want to appreciate you. You have given so much to us today. How can we ever thank you enough? We bring our offerings before you now and we ask, O King of Glory, that they be acceptable in your sight. We ask that they be meet for your use also. Lord, your work will never suffer lack. We are pleading with you, O King of Glory, that as you have opened the heavens before us, it shall never be closed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Blessed be your name, O Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's give a clap offering again unto the Lord. Oh, I'm so thoroughly blessed today. I came here expecting to hear specific words from God. And God did not disappoint me. I don't know about you. It's amazing that the word of God is true it will always accomplish the purpose for which it has been spoken. Just permit me, let's take this song. Our president of Khan, our preacher this morning, already said, we are going higher. If you are going higher, give a wave offering to the Lord. There's a song we used to sing from school days. We'll sing it again now. I'm going higher, yes I am. I'm going higher today. I'm going higher, yes, I am. Going with Jesus to stay. I'm going above the shadows into the presence of God. Into the presence of Jesus. I'm going higher today. Hallelujah.
know that when they were crossing that sea, there was a great miracle waiting to occur at the other side. That was what Satan was fighting. And today, whatever it is that is the great miracle ahead of you, God has already cleared the storm so that your miracle will get to you. So if you like, oh, don't come in the evening. But if I were you, I would be the first to arrive here this evening because my miracle must arrive. It has started. It will not finish until I get to where? To the very top. I'm speaking for myself. I don't know about you. But if it's the same with you, then you will make sure you don't miss the meeting in the evening. We want to appreciate the great servant of God who had come to our midst this evening. There are three books that he had written where some of these things are better elucidated. And I will encourage you to grab a copy from the ushers. Each of them is 500 naira. One of them says, Effective Christian Leadership in the 21st Century. Effective Christian Leadership in the 21st Century. He is the one who edited it. He wrote a part of it, and several other servants of God also wrote very wonderful uh, chapters in the book. The second book is Building a Witnessing Family. What is a Christian leader without a viable Christian family? Your family can be the ruin of your ministry if it is not properly standing. I encourage you, get a copy of that book also, same price, 500 Naira. And then the third one, very related to the message we heard today, overcoming life challenges through Christ. The hymn we sang said today, in Christ alone, in Christ alone we stand. If Jesus is with you in the boat, you don't have any cause to worry. As for storms, he said there are natural occurrences in life. They, if they don't come, you won't have victories. So the three books are available. Uh, these ones are already my own copy. So you meet the ushers. I have the privilege. I already got these ones. And then you get your own copy in the mighty name of Jesus. But can we pause the offering for a moment? We need to pray for the servant of God. If you have been blessed today, speak back to God and say, God, please, from this source from which you have watered us, let this spring never run dry. Let there be fresh water coming from this spring continually. Yes being yes, nay being nay. Confirm his word with signs and word dance accompany. Because he stands in your stead in our midst. Uphold his family, uphold his wife, uphold his children, and every work of their ministry. Let them be a living example of a faithful witness for Christ. Their labor shall never be in vain. They will see the fruit of their labor and be glad. He stands to declare the word of God as the foremost Christian for the whole Christian community in Nigeria, as president of the Christian Association of Nigeria. If he speaks, we have all spoken. Pray that the Lord will grant him utterance. He will speak with anointing from the presence of God, and no man shall withstand him all the days of his tenure. Please pray, please pray. Please pray. He told us we ought to pray. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. Don't keep quiet. Don't wait for emergencies and begin to pray emergency prayers. Now is the time to decree the things and let them be so. Father, we just want to thank you. Father, we uphold this, your servant, before your throne of grace. Lord, you have chosen him for a time like this. We plead with you, O King of glory. He will fulfill his days. He will fulfill his ministry. And Lord, all of them shall bring glory and honor to you. He will lift the name of Jesus high. And Lord, you will draw men to yourself. Lord, thank you. Thank you for you perfect that which concerns him. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. You may continue with the offerings. We want to really appreciate God. He talked to us about storm. You can walk over your storm. In other words, everybody here, you have your storm. If you like, close your eye to it. Then it will swallow you. But if you recognize it, then you will fight it and you will prevail. You can walk over it. You can walk over it. So, it says there are storms are unexpected things that have the power to change the course of things beyond your control. 
you can't help it. It just comes upon you and it seems that you are out of control. But with Jesus with you in the storm, you are back in control. Say, I'm back in control. Ah, 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 ah. You are not saying it like people who are convinced. I'm back in control because Jesus is with me. And it tells us that the devil hates progress and we want to truncate the progress, especially for children of God. And he wonders that when you are climbing the ladder, be very watchful. You can't climb the ladder carelessly. You can sleep and fall. So be careful as you are climbing the ladder. He says, storm is a normal process in life. In fact, he made us realize that Jesus was a man acquainted with what? With grief and sorrow. Acquainted. Grief and sorrow were his friends. Yet he prevailed. No matter what grief and sorrow you are facing, if Jesus prevailed, you too will prevail. I didn't say you can prevail. You too will prevail. Uh, our amen is weak. Oh? And he told us that storms come in different ways. It can come from your carelessness. May we walk like people who walk during the day, not that people who walk in the night. When you walk in the night, even in your own sitting room, you can begin to stumble. Is that not so? But let's walk like people who walk in the light of the word of God. Don't be careless by living in sin. David was careless. He nearly cost him his own ministry, but for the mercy of God. Now I understand when the Bible talks about the sure mercies of David. <laughs> At another time, we will talk more about the sure mercies of David. If you don't have that type of mercy, anything can overwhelm you. But when you have the sure mercies of David, nothing will overwhelm you. And then he talked about being prayerless. And when we say pray, pray, some people are just doing jelenke, 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 jelenke. When the problem matures like this, that's then you want to begin to shout. That time a lot of water has gone under the bridge. Why not pray now like our pastor will tell us? Pray so that you will not pray. You understand? If you pray well now, you don't need to pray emergency prayers later. And then, remember that storms can come also as a result of deliberate attack of Satan. But Satan has been defeated already. And we have been made head over him to trample him under our feet. Jesus triumphed over him and made an open show of him so that we too can walk at liberty. So don't take it for granted. Satan has agents, but you are the agents of God. If so be that you have the Spirit of God dwelling in you. Once you have that, everything will happen for you double, double. Everything now double, double. Now double, double. Amen. Because I know we will begin to sing now, but before the song and beyond the song, let it be known in the inside of you that your portion is a double portion. Amen. Please, just some quick announcements. Uh, the following brethren should please see uh, Elder Shafi immediately we dismiss from the service. Engineer Adenekon of uh, the School of Agri. Dr. Muiwai Lori from UI. Dr. Fashai and Brother Olu Flourish. Again, Engineer Adenekon, Dr. Muiwai Lori, Dr. Fashai, and Brother Olu Flourish. See, please, please see uh, Elder Shafi at the end of the service. We want to acknowledge the presence also of our beloved brethren in our midst here who came to commiserate with us. And, you know, they've had some challenges, but God has been drawing great miracles since they came. We want to acknowledge uh, our brethren who came from the fellowship where the pioneer pastor started in the village. And we are very grateful to God who brought them here. We are overcomers. And God has been showing that they are overcomers also. We acknowledge the presence of Bishop David, Pastor Ojo, <laughs> Pastor Herbert, and Pastor Victor. The Lord bless you richly for fellowshipping with us this morning. And I'm sure you have received your own portion also this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. You will yet testify of the goodness of God in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all brethren from the Believer's Gospel Mission in Imo State. And, you know, that was the place from where Pastor grew. That was from where he received the fire with which we are all being kindled now. So it's a spring. It's a source 
from which we have come from. And we are giving glory to God for that. Give a clap offering to the Lord for that. I'd like to also emphasize that next Saturday, next Saturday, next Saturday, by 7 a.m., all of us are supposed to be here. We are having a half day of fasting and prayers as a congregation. We have just been told now that we need to pray. And you don't pray by talking. You pray by praying. So Saturday, 7 a.m., let everybody be here. We will have a time of retreat in the presence of God. Everybody, little children, adults, senior citizens, 7 a.m. next Saturday. Whatever program you have scheduled for that time, push it aside. Come now. Let's do business together. Let's prevail in the place of prayer. The Lord bless you richly as you do so in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Zone 4. Zone 4, you are serving the uh, uh, communion today. So all pastors in zone 4, please make sure that you are here in time for the prayer meeting. Deacons and deaconesses also uh, be around for the prayer meeting and also assist in the serving of the communion this evening. This evening, our communion service starts at 4 p.m. Please be prompt. We want to start in time and finish in time. It's a time of great blessings. And after the communion service, the servant of God will minister to us again. The discipleship pastors and assistants, you'll be meeting uh, with your uh, elders by 12.20. 12.20, that's now 30 minutes time from now. The blessed singles, you are meeting immediately at the middle bay here, immediately after the service. Shall we rise? And all the committees, please meet with your leaders after the service. Please be reminded that the prayer meeting on Saturday is with fasting. Don't say, I cannot fast. This time, God will give you grace to fast. There are some things that do not go except by prayer and fasting. So come ready. The mountains will fall in the mighty name of Jesus. Our Heavenly Father, we just want to appreciate you. We give you all the glory and honor. We plead with you, O King of glory. You are more eager to bless us than we are willing to ask. Lord, therefore, realign our thoughts. Lord, let the storms not overwhelm us to the point that we turn our eyes away from you. The moment Peter turned his eyes to you, you reached out your hand to him and you helped him to walk back on the sea. Lord, our hands are stretched out to you. Uphold us with the right hand of your righteousness, therefore, in the mighty name of Jesus. Bypass our weaknesses and our failures, O Lord. Help our doubts and unbelief, O Lord. And do that which we glorify the name of your son, Jesus, in our life and circumstances. Plant our feet on high, in the mighty name of Jesus. We return all the glory and honor to you. Blessed be your name, O Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the wonderful fellowship of the Holy Spirit.